Longtime Elon Musk and Tesla supporter Kathy Wood has revealed a massive bombshell about Tesla in the electric vehicle market that will undoubtedly affect Tesla shares. Uh, in addition to being a top stock picker, she founded ARK Invest, a $60 billion assets firm that makes bets on cutting edge technologies like genomics and self-driving cars. Wood, uh, one of Elon Musk's biggest supporters, believes the electric vehicle company will eventually uh, be worth more than $3 trillion. Investors have been a little skeptical lately, though, as stock prices have dropped in response to Tesla's statement that it will delay the release of new models. How does she view the market for electric vehicles? In the following five years, where does she envision Tesla? Does this mean that the price of Tesla stock will rise or fall? To find out, keep watching. Uh, the automotive and energy company Tesla Incorporated has had a tumultuous start to the year with its stock prices falling from $1,236 in November 2021, then rising to $922.43 on February 16th, a 533% increase. Wood claims that recent declines in tech businesses have created purchasing opportunities. According to statistics, Wood claimed in an interview that consumer preferences have shifted in favor of electric vehicles. Data from Bloomberg New Energy Finance indicates that in the first half of 2021, 7.2% .2 of automobiles sold globally were electric vehicles, which includes plug-in, hybrid, and battery electric vehicles. This represents an increase from 2.6% in 2019 and 4.3% in 2020. In North America, sales of electric vehicles made up three of total sales in the first half. However, industry observers forecast that when sales pick up, this percentage will grow to five in the second half. Um, Alongside the announcement of higher sales of electric vehicles came a commitment by Ford, General Motors, and other automakers to sell only zero emission new cars by 2040. During the interview, Wood also mentioned that the, the revelation caused the stocks of these manufacturers of electric vehicles to rise, indicating that demand is outpacing supply. This year, the stocks of General Motors and Ford have increased as a result of investors' recognition of their efforts to switch to electric vehicles. However, because the legacy players were raised in the industrial gas-powered period, they are not accustomed to the manufacturing of electric vehicles. According to Wood, the government support, growing consumer demand, and more accessible automobiles are all contributing to the sharp rise in sales of electric vehicles. Consumer spending on electric car purchases increased by 50 from 2019 to $120 billion in 2020. This corresponds to an increase in sales of 40 in and an increase in average prices of six. Wood emphasized that because to its technological decisions, Tesla is already ahead of its rivals and will continue to rule the electric vehicle market. General Motors declared that it, it will build a new electric car battery cell plant and increase the manufacture of electric pickup trucks in its home state of Michigan by $6, six cents billion between now and 2024. General Motors wants to boost the number of electrified vehicles it can produce in North America to 1 million by 2025, which is why it is increasing its investment. General Motors anticipates surpassing Tesla as the largest dust-based seller of electric vehicles by selling more than a million of them globally by the middle of the decade. Not too far behind either are other automakers like Hyundai and Ford, although it will take some time for them to catch up. Apart from its pioneering role in the electric vehicle sector, Tesla stands apart for a few reasons. First off, given that its batteries are thought to be superior to those of rivals, Tesla's distribution network for batteries plays a significant role in the company's competitive edge. This is partially attributable to Tesla's continuous advancements in battery packs and chemistry, as well as the superior quality of Panasonic's battery cells. About 74 of all electric vehicles sold in the U.S. over the last three years have come from Tesla. This is straightforward. Its cars are more capable. The Tesla Model S has a range of up to 4 to 12 miles, depending on the model. Among non-luxury vehicles, Ford's Mustang Mach-E extended range model is the closest rival. Uh, next up is the Tesla Model X, which is quickly followed by the Model 3. According to Wood, other OEMs would need some time to catch up to Tesla since, for the majority of car brands, sales of electric vehicles account for only 2 to 3% of total sales. In order to boost those figures, a major redesign would be required. Both time and resources will be needed for this. Uh, Tesla is still making technological and sales advancements in the interim. If Tesla is the first to be successful in autonomous vehicles in the United States, we're beginning to believe that not only will Tesla take the biggest share of the electric vehicle market, 
but we believe that it could take 20 to 25 percent share of the total auto market in five years. Wood stated, according to Wood, uh, Tesla stock, which is presently trading at $1089, is predicted to reach $3,000 by 2025. She thinks that the most important factor in getting Tesla shares to her $3,000 target is the company's attempt at autonomous driving, which has a 50 probability of succeeding. According to her, the ability of autonomous cars to carry passengers to their destinations would take precedence over design when they operate in autonomous taxi networks in the future. We believe electric car prices will fall below those of gasoline-powered vehicles and will continue to fall, Wood stated. Our present projections indicate that by 2026, the average electric vehicle would cost approximately $15,000. In response to a listener's question, Wood stated that Lucid Group, Rivian Automotive, and other electric vehicle firms do not pose a threat to Tesla. Although she thinks businesses can be successful in the space, she thinks Tesla batteries are three to four years ahead of their rivals. She also notes that neither business is focusing on autonomous driving, an area in which Tesla can stay. Uh, Wood also raised concerns about Tesla's response to the scarcity of chips uh -huh. due to a shortage of computer chips. Well-known automakers like General Motors and Ford Motor Company operated differently than Tesla for a large portion of last year. Dealer lots remained barren and automobile prices increased as a result of General Motors and Ford closing one facility after another, often for months at a time. In spite of this, Tesla broke sales records every quarter and finished the year with almost twice as many sales as it did in 2020. According to Kathy Wood's prediction, Tesla is expected to overtake Apple in terms of market share, despite the current crisis in the industry, because Apple was nowhere in Intel and Qualcomm were going with the volume players. Apple identified a cell phone as a computer long before Nokia, Ericsson, and Motorola did. It produced a chip all by itself, period. It created its own chip, which is why it still makes the most money in the cell phone industry. The share's value has grown even if its price has decreased. The financial guru said that is what we believe will happen to Tesla. As stated in a prior interview, a lot of investors and financial analysts consider Tesla more as a technology company than a car manufacturer. That is at least the explanation given for the company's stock price's explosive rise of over 300% in a single year beginning in 2013. Uh, there are a number of parallels between Tesla and the it industry. Tesla has adopted the disruptive slogan of the it sector. Like other tech companies, Tesla is trying to upend the car industry's longstanding business models by selling directly to customers. Its founder and product pipeline has a passionate fan base akin to those of well-known tech companies such as Apple. Tesla's price has recovered by more than 11, even though it plunged 31 between January 3rd and January 27th as rising bond rates and predictions of Fed interest rate increases pummeled technology equities. Would stated in a presentation that investing with a long-term perspective is crucial. We have a five-year plan in mind. I have never witnessed an invitation of this kind before. To begin with, a lot of analysts have high hopes for Tesla in 2022. For instance, a bullish analysis of the company was published by a Goldman Sachs analyst who rates it as a buy and describes it as the undisputed leader of the EV pack with a target price of $1,200. Wedbush Securities' Daniel Ives is also positive, putting a $1,400 target price and a $1,800 best case scenario on the table. Wedbush has rated the firm as outperforming, asserting that Tesla has skillfully handled the 2021 chip shortage and that there is still market share to be gained by electric vehicles. Tesla is impacted by both positive and negative factors. And the way the stock performs in 2022 will depend on how things proceed during the year. Elon Musk might need to stop selling stocks and concentrate more on getting the Cybertruck launched. China represents a sizable market for both Tesla and electric cars in general. By 2022, estimations indicate that 40% of Tesla's deliveries will come from China, adding around 400 points to the stock price of the company. Um, if the Chinese market is handled well, Tesla might see rapid growth. Experts predict that no one will be able to stop Tesla from breaking a new record in 2022 if China's strategy is successful. Do you share Kathy Wood's opinion? Will Tesla own 25% of the market for electric vehicles? Tesla, is it the next Apple? Please leave a comment below.